against the man regarded by many experts as the best fighter in the world, gets ready to go to work. Roy Jones telling us yesterday, Sosa will be the hardest opponent of my career. And Sosa starts out as the aggressor, but Jones counters with a left hand and gets off the ropes. And you can see Murky Sosa, he has that Caramba nickname, he's not the, which takes a, a lot away from his footwork, and we we'll figure that Jones' speed is going to bother him a lot in this fight. Sosa with a hard right hand to the body, tries to bring the left hook up top. Jones starts to land, and now Sosa stops throwing. Roy Jones going to the body as he works Sosa against the ropes. Jones, willing to take some chances early, said he would stay closer to Sosa than he has to other opponents if it didn't hurt too much. Right now, he doesn't have much of a choice because Sosa is just smothering him. Watch your heads. Jones digging the left hand to the body. Sosa leaning in and looking for opportunities to fire shots in close. Talk about a guy being fired up. Sosa is really fired up. He's got a tremendous opportunity to emerge from obscurity, and he has confidence that he can do it. But Jones is starting to show that incomparable hand speed as he beats a tattoo against Murky Sosa's head with the left hook. All right, break, break, step back. that actually put Sosa in trouble. Right hand over the top, partially blocked. Jones wanted to finish it all with that Get one right hand shot. Now Sosa's head uh, begins break, to break, clear a little break. bit as he Keep pulls Jones in toward him. Well, Gil, we've talked about the look that fighters get on their face when they taste that first Roy Jones left hook barrage three, in round one, one, and certainly Sosa appeared to be Still feeling Jones something he hands. hadn't felt before. They seem to say, wow, what is it? What happened to me? Left hook over the top by Jones. Stop, stop. Combination inside. Referee Listen Ken Zimmer pulls him apart. Listen to the bell. As we go to Murky Sosa's corner, where the predominant language is Spanish, our interpreter is Hector Garcia. Sosa, listen to me. You know, you're going in forward, move side to side. Your hands are reaching, but, but you have to bend. You're reaching it. Your hands are reaching the, the target. Try not to hold his arms. We practice that. Don't forget. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Sosa said he doesn't know he's in a fight until he gets hit. He knows he's in a fight now. That was Second early down, in the let's round. Go. Second down. Let's go. Round two. A power punch display on both sides. Between them, the two fighters threw only five jabs in the first round. Jones landed 34 of 66 punches. 65 of them were power shots. Hard left hook to the body by Sosa. Well, Jones had mentioned that he wanted to fight Sosa on the inside, and that's what he's doing. Hard right uppercut inside by Jones. Set up the flurry of left hooks. Sosa leaning against him, but Jones is doing damage here. Now Sosa begins to score with his own left hook. Jones using his withering hand speed to stun Murky Sosa again. Sosa so far able to handle Jones's power, but 
When Jones gets started throwing multiple punches in combination, Sosa takes them all. But, but can anybody keep up the pace that these two guys are fighting, especially Jones, when he lets those flurries go? And Sosa momentarily stunned Jones there with right hand lead, left hook behind it. So his power punch combinations are working from time to time too. And now Sosa is starting to swell under the left eye. But you know something, Gil? Jones has never been in a long, tough fight like this. But again, Larry, only in round two. That's what we have mentioned. This is some pace. Right. If this went on seven or eight rounds, I'd be curious to see how Jones responded. In fact, we all wanted to see how Jones is getting hurt it now. It go seven or eight rounds if Roy keeps landing like that. A sensational barrage of left hooks, and Sosa is stunned right. again. Sosa is called the head of stone, right, break. and so, now you know why. Watch your head. And Sosa trained for this fight by fighting Prince Charles Williams. Same kind of a fight. Right hand slash, and down goes Sosa. That's the first time in his career that he's been knocked down by a hard punch like that. All right. And Sosa wobbling a bit on those knocked knees as Roy Jones steps back in. Had to be a strange feeling for Sosa. But again, Jones jo jo just outmaneuvers him. Sosa not throwing back, not throwing back, in trouble as Ken Zimmer stops the fight. And now Murky goes after the referee. The fuck are you stopping the fucking fight for? The fuck are you crazy? Fight on. I agree with the Sosa people. That fight should not have been stopped. He had taken hard punches, he was covering up, perhaps waiting for, time. for Roy Jones to burn himself up a little bit. I didn't think he was any more hurt at that moment than he had been a half a minute or a minute before. I thought it was a quick stoppage. And maybe referee Ken Zimmer wasn't familiar enough with Sosa's style of fighting to know that it was nothing unusual for Murky to stand and take punches like that. Harold Letterman, what do you think? Jim, he should have called a standing eight count. They have a standing eight count in New York. If he would have given Sosa a standing eight count, he could have observed what kind of condition Murky was in. At the end of the standing eight count, he should have said to Murky, take a step toward me, and if Murky didn't wobble, you let the fight go. He should have never stopped it. That's the opportunity for the standing eight count. He should have definitely called a standing eight count at that point. Great no point. question. Yeah, you agree, Gil? I I agree. Not only I agree, but everybody in the audience agrees as well. You can hear the boos from the fighting fans. Except, of course, for the most ardent Roy Jones fans who are simply celebrating. But indeed, this will be seen, I think, as a questionable stoppage. And we'll take another look at what happened starting before the knockdown. Zimmer's decision was that Murky just didn't do enough in return. I don't know. I'm not so sure, guys. That's a lot of punishment when you're not throwing back. I agree with you about the standing eight count, Harold. Okay. But I've seen stoppages of fights like that before, and so have you, Gil. Yeah, but Harold was 100% right. That's why they have the standing eight count in New York State. The referee definitely should have given them a standing eight count, and you have a chance to take a look at the fighter and ask him to take that one step forward. Sosa did, did get hit with a lot of clean punches, but he also blocked a lot of those punches, and you can see the way he attacked the referee uh, when he stopped the fight. He, he, he suddenly had his senses. Right now, let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ken Zimmer calls a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. The winner by TKO, he is still the undefeated two-time world champion, Roy Jones.
Junior.